Good evening everyone, this is Victor Echo 7 Kabakuto, or VE7QH, and I'm going to be showing you how to operate D-Star on the Kenwood THD-74. This handheld is a lot different than the ICOM handhelds and how D-Star works, but it, you'll soon find that once you go through the menus and have everything set up, it is actually really quite simple, and I'm here to show you how to do that. So my radio is currently factory reset, so this is what it looks like when you first power it on for the first time. And as you can see, it's going to be in FM mode for both VFOs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, on the VFO of your choice that you want to operate D-Star on, you're going to press the A button or the digital mode button until it shows DR. Now what scares a lot of people is when they first enter DR for the first time, it defaults to this Bristol repeater. That's fine, you don't have to worry about that, I'll show you how to fix that later. First what you want to do is make sure your call sign is programmed into the radio. Because without your call sign programmed into the radio, you can see you can't transmit, No, my call sign is not registered. So what you want to do is you're going to come into the menu, into menu 6 uh, under digital. You can see it's a D in the middle of the star for D star. Uh, receive history, you don't need to worry about that. What you want to come into is TXRX or menu, menu 6-1. And you're going to program my call sign. And if you want a transmit message, for now I'm just going to enter my call sign, which is going to be VE7QH. VE7QH. You can enter anything into there. To, I normally enter uh, D74 to tell people I'm operating on a D74 radio. On my ICOM radio I have uh, uh, ID7100 for my 7100 and then ID4100 or 4100 for my ICOM4100. In this case we're going to go D74. You can go enter and go back. And you can see my call sign is VE7QH slash D74. You can do a transmit message, same thing here. You can choose off, which is the default. Or you can go into one and edit it if you want. I'm going to leave that blank and turn it off just to save time because you don't really need it. And that's the, that's all you really need to get on the air with D star on this radio. Now the confusing part for people is the DR mode. DR mode is a lot different than, or it's roughly the same as the ICOM radios, but it operates slightly differently. So how they have it set up is this top bar here is where you want your signal to go, or this is where you're going to enter your commands for the gateway. So default is CQ, CQ, CQ. That allows you to talk to anyone. Um, down here is the repeater that you're transmitting to, and these are controlled by your different arrows. So if I want to change my destination select, I'm going to press and hold the up arrow, which is right here. Press and hold. It brings you into this menu. I can hit back. If I want to change the repeater, I press and hold the down arrow, and this is where you can switch it from that Bristol repeater. So if you have your GPS on, you can switch, you can select a uh, nearby repeaters. If you've used it before you can do your transmit history. You can direct input it if you're a bit more advanced with D-Star. But Kenwood comes with a decent uh, repeater list. So you can just come in here, select your country. In Canada, I'm in BC, so that's the VE7 area. I can scroll through and choose which one I want. I'm currently in Chilliwack, so I'm going to go with uh, UHF repeater, the VE7 RCK repeater, and that's and that's what you need there. So, what this allows you to do is you've got CQ, 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 and VE7 RCKB. That allows you to operate on the repeater. So, if I transmit with my antenna attached.
That's odd. Sometimes I can't hit the UHF repeater for my house. So I'm going to come in here. And that's another cool feature. Once you've got your area set in the repeater list, you can actually scroll through. So RCKB is the UHF. Let's try the 2 meter repeater. When I key up, you can see that the repeater comes back to me. So from VE7RCKC, the repeater came back to me. Now that's just if you want to operate the repeater so, or an analog repeater that allows you to talk to anyone in the area. Now where this gets semi-tricky is where when you're trying to link two different into the different reflectors. So this is where you're going to use the digital menu. And that is accessed by hitting the function key, or D, function, then digital. It's going to take you into this digital mode here. This is where you can select where you want your destination. You can do it through there, or you can press and hold the up arrow. It takes you into the same menu. So from here, you can do local CQ, which operates it like an analog repeater. Only people in the area are going to hear you. Or you can do it through the reflector. Use reflector will allow you to transmit into the gateway. And if you do not know, the gateway is what links your repeater, which is just a normal repeater. It takes your D star repeater and connects it to the internet. And that gateway is what will act is what's actually connecting to the different reflectors or even into different repeaters. What's weird about how these radios work is use reflector is what you want to use if you are wanting to use the gateway. It doesn't matter if you're using a reflector or not. It can be, even if you're connected to another repeater, if you use reflector, that allows you to connect to the gateway. And that gateway is what connects you to the other, into the other system, the repeater, the reflector, whatever. If you're just doing local CQ, even if your repeater is linked to a reflector, the reflector is not going to hear you because you are not transmitting to the gateway. In order to transmit to the gateway, you have to be running use reflector. And you can see the difference in here, which is going to be under CS setting. So if you're familiar, UR is CQ, CQ, CQ. That is practically your command. CQ, CQ, CQ it means you want it to go to anyone listening. My our repeater 2, or R2, is VE7RCKG. That means I'm transmitting to the gateway. VE7RCKC means I'm transmitting to the C module of the VE7RCK repeater. And my call sign is VE7QH. Now if I go under destination selection and do local CQ and go into that same menu, you can see that my R2 changed to RCKC. That means that the gateway is not going to hear anything I transmit. I have to be in use reflector in order for the gateway to hear me. In the reflector menu, you can also choose to link to a reflector. So for example, one Charlie, and I hit OK, you can see that my command cha changes to linking to reflector one Charlie. Now all I'd have to do is key up, and if the repeater hears me, it should connect me to reflector 1 Charlie. Once you're done with the linking command, you just come in here and switch back to use reflector. When you're done, you can come down here to unlink reflector, and then you key up again, and it will unlink you from the reflector or the other repeater you're connected to. In this menu, you'll also find the echo test. You can use that to hear a recording of yourself. So when you're transmitting, you can say VE7QH performing echo test. When you unkey, the repeater should transmit whatever you just said back to you so that you can hear yourself. I use that to make sure I'm getting into the repeater okay when I'm operating mobile before I use a reflector. So most of the time, this is how my radio operates. Use reflector into the, into the repeater. I'm always transmitting to the gateway just to make sure 
that if someone else connects to our repeater and comes through the system, that when I transmit, they'll be able to hear me as well. So I always use my, my radio in use reflector and, VE, and to VE7RCK. Another nice thing about the digital menu is you can see, you can change it from DV or DR. So DV is what you're going to use for operating simplex. So if you and a friend are in the same, want to operate simplex to each other and do it through D-Star, you can do it through the DV menu. So as you can see, it operates now like a regular VFO. I can transmit digital in any of these frequencies. And then this is what's going to get different about your digital menus. You can see these all are grayed out. These are all stuff you can't do in DV mode. Destination select, you're also going to see, is going to be a little bit different. So you can go local CQ, individual, if you're talking to someone. You can set it how oh, DSTAR originally was set up. So you, you call CQ. So you'd use the CQ command for calling CQ. And you'd switch to individual mode when you're talking to someone. You can run it in CQ all the time and the person you're talking to will always hear you. If you really want, you can switch it into individual mode. It's not going to change anything unless you're all running on a digital call sign squelch, which is uh, something that's something we can cover in a later video. For now, you can always just run it in CQ mode and it's not going to change anything. You can also directly enter in commands. So, so this mode you can see is really only useful for uh, simplex operations. For the most part, you're going to want to operate in DR mode. Another nice feature about this radio is the ability to operate uh, data modes. So I use this radio for what's called DRATS, which is a digital text message and file sharing over DSTAR. And in order to do that, I connect the radio through its USB port, which is hard to see on, on this camera, and you'd switch it over into data mode. And what data mode allows you to do is it the radio knows that it's looking for a signal on the USB port. So when my computer sends a signal through the USB port to the radio, the radio will then take that signal and transmit it. So anyone on the DRATS network will hear my radio transmission and should come back to me. I'm going to be doing a video on that later, but the thing to note is that if you are operating in a DSTAR in a digital mode, you have to switch it to digital through the digital menu, otherwise the radio will not be accepting signals through the USB port. So let me know if that helps with operating DSTAR on the Kenwood 74. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks of your own. You can also comment below as this is a tutorial video and anyone coming to this video is also looking for help with operating this radio. Hopefully this video in conjunction with the user manual will help you get on the air and enjoy DSTAR. As I said before, comment below if you have any questions or if you have any tips or tricks to share of your own. In the meantime, this is VE7QH and I'll be signing off. Have a great evening.